You've probably seen lots of images of animal cells, but what do those cells actually look like under a microscope? If you have a microscope and would like to do this yourself, you will need a clean toothpick, a slide, a slide cover, and some blue dye. The blue dye is optional, but it does help make it easier to view the cells. You can make your own blue dye at home by diluting blue food coloring with water. In a small jar container, add five to 10 drops of food coloring, then add the same amount of water, five to 10 drops. We're going to use the toothpick to gather a sample of cells from the inside of our mouth. Human cells are classified as animal cells in science because they don't produce their own sugars or foods. More on that later when we explore the plant cells. To collect the sample, carefully rub the side of the toothpick against the inside of your cheek. Do this for about 30 seconds. Once you are finished, the toothpick should be moist with saliva and some skin cells. Rub the sample onto the center of the slide, then carefully add a drop of the blue dye if you are using it. Cover the sample with the slide cover. We will start with the smallest objective or the smallest of the three lenses at the bottom of the microscope. Starting at the smallest objective lets us find the specimen and bring it into focus before we enlarge it. But even at the smallest of magnifications, we can already see the cells. Now we will zoom in using the next objective lens. This lens will bring the magnification to 100 times the cell's normal size. This is where we can really start to see details of the cells. Take a minute to look at the cells and note the details you see. What do you notice about the shape of the cells or the size? Can you see anything inside the cells? Finally, we will use the longest objective to magnify the cell to 400 times its original size. At this magnification, you can clearly see details within the cell and can probably make out two of the organelles. Let's use this magnification to focus in on one cell. What do you notice about its size and shape now? Notice that there's a clear border surrounding the cell. This is the cell membrane, one of the cell's organelles. You might also be able to make out a small black dot inside the cell membrane. This is another organelle known as the nucleus. Be sure to watch the next video to find out how animal cells compare to plant cells.